Hey guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. Hey, today we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales. All right, we got a great subject for ourselves today, so let's go ahead and dive right on into it. What is our subject for today? It is selling how to deal with customers who criticize your company or your products. No, he didn't. Yes, I said it. Selling how to deal with customers who criticize your company or your products. I'm going to tell you one thing, guys. I've been in sales a long time, and I have had the majority of my customers appreciate the products that I have to sell, and a lot of them appreciate the companies that I work for. But unfortunately, there are always going to be situations where you cannot satisfy a customer. And it sucks because, you know, customers are really important, and a lot of times it's in our capabilities to satisfy our customers, but sometimes we drop the ball. And then sometimes it can be so Somewhere in the middle, a gray area, you know, maybe it could have been the finance, it could have been the money, it could have been the service, it could have been a mirror of different things that caused the customer to go, I want to cancel my, my service, I want a, I want a refund, I want my money back, I don't like what you guys are selling, your company is not doing a good job, I'm going to... Go ahead and tell everybody how bad a job you're doing. I've been doing my research. People say your company's not doing good. I've had people tell me your products aren't that great, that your people that are doing your work aren't that great. Listen, guys, I've been in sales a long time. And sometimes this is true. This can be the case. This can be what's going on in your world as far as what's going on with your selling. And if you haven't ran into this yet, you will, because unfortunately, not everybody probably works as hard as you do. You've got people that that may work with you in customer service or people who work in the industry who do the service work that sometimes drop the ball. They show up to a particular place. They there, you know, get the little GPS tracking them and so forth. They're there and they're only there for just a little bit of time and customers these days they have video cameras and so forth and see if they see that you're only there for a couple of minutes and they don't see you doing your job a lot of times they perceive in their mind you ain't doing your job so how would you feel if you were a customer and you felt that you know you pay a lot of money for services and products and stuff and the people that are supposed to do the work they drop the ball I'm going to tell you what, I'd be up frustrated and I'd be upset too, okay? And we have to own up to this because I've been in sales a long time. And I'm telling you, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. I told you I'd tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, and the warts and all. And I'm going to tell you what, I've been see, I've seen companies that were in business 50 years, 100 years, 75 years, and so forth that went out of business because they forgot to take care of their customer. They forgot about the customer service. And I'll be one of the very first people to say... I've been there and I've seen it with my own two eyes. And unfortunately, you know, it's a numbers game. And we think sometimes that it's easier to get new customers than it is to take care of our own customers. It really isn't. I'm an advocate for customers. I really am because I'm a customer. I like to buy stuff and I like for my services to work out properly. But unfortunately, it's a numbers game. You're going to run the risk that somebody may not show up to work one day doing their best and a customer gets the, the bad end of it. Or maybe they'll disrespect the customer. They'll talk down to a customer. They'll treat the customer as though they're not the most important person. In reality, <clears throat> they are. You know, customers call a lot of times to complain about things or let you know that they're not happy about things. And that's the saving time where you can save business and grow your business. And unfortunately, <clears throat> I've seen it where companies don't do that. You know, and our topic is selling. How do you deal with customers who criticize your company and your products? Here's the one thing, salespeople. Please don't take it personally. I'm going to tell, put it on Yelp. I'm going to say all about all this. What I do is when customers call me, because I give them my personal cell phone number, and a lot of salespeople, they don't really do that that much. And a lot of times they may not ever call you if you give it to them. Uh, but there are sometimes, you know, they'll call customer service and they're not getting they're not getting what they think. And they want to let you know. They want somebody to listen to them. I've had some people call me in the past that were really upset and everything. 
everything. And they said, you know what, Gary, it wasn't your fault. You know, you were, you were, you're a great guy. You did everything you said you were going to do and more. Unfortunately, the companies that you work for, they didn't, they dropped the ball. The guy didn't do his job. The person didn't say, the person says he was going to do this and didn't do it, but it wasn't your fault. And I feel better now that I was at least able to talk to somebody who gave me an ear to listen. Did you hear that? Sometimes people just need to vent and share their opinion and don't yell at them because they're the customer. I don't care if you're a, 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 you're working in a customer service situation or a sales center or even if you're a manager. How would you feel? And unfortunately, we don't feel that way. We forget where we come from, and then we lose good businesses. And, and then a lot of times the big bosses will ask, well, what happened to all our business? Well, we dropped the ball. So, you know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. I told you I'd tell you some things that a lot of times companies don't even talk about our customers and people just don't even think about. But I like to talk about things that I deal with on a weekly and a daily basis because I'm a real salesperson and not work in the field. And I have had customers tell me in the past that they were dissatisfied with some services that were rendered to them. And some of them even said that they were dissatisfied with some of the products. And unfortunately, I kind of like internally took it personally personally and tried to figure out how I could save a sale or how to make it better for the customer. And I didn't go all crazy and everything. But what I'm sharing with you is reality. If you don't care about your customers, how are you going to get referrals? I mean, it's, it, people, if you live in a town, eventually you're going to run into somebody that you sold something to. And if you were a jerk and if you didn't treat them right, I mean, that's just the reality of it. And I always, like I said, give my customers my, my name, my telephone number, and I also do a selfie with them so that way they can call me and they can let me know. Do I feel a little frustrated when they call and they're upset and they're hurt and they feel like they, they talk about canceling service and they were mad and so forth? I really do. Because I don't like for any company that I work for to drop the ball and not take care of the customers. But unfortunately, everybody has going to, is going to drop the ball. And then sometimes it can be out of your, it can be something that's got to do with the customer. Maybe they don't have the money and maybe they're embarrassed to say they can't afford to pay for something anymore and they have to cancel and they have, now they have to pay another bill on top of a bill because, but see, here's the thing. I've learned try not to take it personal. What I mean by that is I, I kind of I, I kind of listen to the customer. I kind of listen to them ramble. I let them talk, and I you know I, I just listen. I I understand. Yes, I do. I understand, and you know I'd feel the same way if that happened to me. And see, I'm not saying that the, that we did anything wrong. What I'm saying is, is sometimes things happen, and we have to treat the customer with the kindness they deserve, even if they're not being very nice and they're not being very kind. I've had situations where customers were ready to cancel services and because they called me I was able to change it and what I did was I was able to save sales and I was also let them know that hey we have additional service that maybe you didn't know about that we can add on to what you're dealing with now to make it just right and I'm going to tell you what it's hard to sell somebody if they angry frustrated mad and they haven't had a chance to voice their opinion listen how about you when I'm mad and frustrated I boy I want somebody to listen and I want them to listen now. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. I told you sometimes selling is great and it's awesome, but we have to take care of not only the front end, but the back end. We have to take care of our customers and don't be afraid to give out your telephone number. If you're a salesperson and a selfie, just make sure that, Hey, if they call you, remind yourself, hey, listen, there must be something wrong. You know, I've had people call me and I thought they were in a fit of rage or they were upset about something. They were inviting me to a party, to a, a dinner party, there, a barbecue, and they weren't calling about any other thing than that. And then I've had customers who called me who were furious, who were ready to cancel or who did cancel their service and they needed for me to know. And I'm very grateful. You know, like I said, in the past when I was younger, I would take stuff like this personal. I would get up frustrated, but it's the cost to do a business. But if we can do a better job for our customers, that's what we should strive for. A failure to me is not acceptable. Treating a customer like crap and having them call you because you're the last resource reason. It's like, man, you got, we got to do something about whatever we're selling guys. We really have to own up to there's issues. If you got problems in your company, Hey, listen, managers and owners, if you got problems with your people that are doing the work for you out in the field, you better might want to 
think about changing that situation or at least having a conversation with those people who are out there. You know, I'm a salesperson. I've had management talk to me in many, many different situations, but I've also noticed that a lot of times that when there's service issues, they don't always jump on the, the person who's doing the work wrong. They always mean they, they seem to take it out on the customer. So if you're a salesman, make sure you take care of your customer. Never, never, this is one thing I've learned. Never tell the customer they're going to get everything under the sun because sometimes they won't. And sometimes they'll be up frustrated and they'll be a mad. So you got to make sure that you never oversell whatever you're trying to sell. And selling, how do you deal with customers who criticize your company or your product? You listen to them. You let them get frustrated. You let them get mad. Because, see, they trusted you and they bought from you. So how dare you get upset with them? I mean, it's not, not their fault that somebody dropped the ball. Or maybe they're shamed because they can't afford it. And let them just tell you because sometimes they'll talk themselves out of canceling services. And sometimes they will just cancel the service. But sometimes if you don't know there's a problem, you need to go ahead and listen. And you need to share that with your management. Because sometimes you'll have a good manager who will listen and hopefully we can learn from our mistakes that's the key to success guys we're salespeople. we got to get out there and sell stuff but we also got to remember some people are going to say bad things about our product sometimes people are going to say bad things about the companies we work for but listen it, it, you can't take it personal because see sometimes it, here's the thing i've learned if you go look in, in in any type of setting where you're trying to get referrals about a particular product and find out how good the companies are you notice the majority of those are negative the reason why they're negative is because a lot of times when people are getting good services, they don't go on those forums to say something nice. They only get on there to complain. So if somebody's complaining, just let the customer know, hey, I listened to you. Hey, I know we probably have some negative things out there, but the majority of the people that we do business with are very, very happy. And unfortunately, the ones who do complain the most are the ones who who are going to get on Yelp and all these other different services and complain and like, because see, maybe something didn't work out for them, but that's not necessarily the way it is for everybody. And when you have thousands and thousands of customers and very few ever complain and the majority of them are very happy, that's the way you got to sell it. You got to, you know, you got to be nice. Even if you lose the customer, you got to let them down nicely. Be kind and be considerate and always be honest, guys. My name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. We just had a great conversation about selling, how to deal with customers who criticize your company and your products. You just be kind. Let them be upset, and hopefully you can salvage it. So go out there and sell something. Be positive, and don't take it personal. You got this. So go out there and enjoy the day. All right.